Hello everyone, in this video, we'll talk about theorem on angles formed by seconds and tangent. So as you can see, we have two figures here. The first figure, we have two seconds intersect outside the circle and it formed an angle, okay? This angle has measure of C degrees. And the next figure, we have a second and a tangent intersect outside of the circle and then it also formed an angle which measures C degrees. Okay, now what is the theorem on that angle? The theorem states that if two seconds, a second and a tangent, or two tangents intersect in the exterior of a circle, so exterior means outside of the circle, then the measure of the angle formed is one half the absolute value of the difference of the measure of the intercepted arcs. So again, the angle form, so in this figure, the angle form has a measure of C degrees, and that measure is half of the difference of the intercepted arc. Okay? So ang ating intercepted arcs here is A and then B. The measure is A degrees and then B degrees. Okay? So yung katapat na intercepted arc niyan, yung A and B. So the formula is, C is equal to A, the measure of the arc, intercepted arc, minus B. Okay, yung B natin yung mas maliit kaysa dun kay A. So, A minus B divided by 2 since one half of the difference of the intercepted arcs. And then C is the measure of the angle. So, same with these figures. So, figure number 2. So, again, two tangents intersect outside of the circle, we form two intercepted arcs, A and then B. And then, figure number 3, we have a second and a tangent intersect outside of the circle, we form two intercepted arcs, A and then B. So since, according to the theorem, the difference of that intercepted arcs divided by 2 or half, that is the measure of the angle, which is C. So again, the formula is C is equal to A minus B, the difference of two intercepted arcs, divided by 2. So let us have the example. So we have item number 1 and item number 2. So find the value of X in item number 1. So the given uh, measures here is uh, 125 for the measure of intercepted arc. And then another one is the measure of the smallest arc, which is 27 degrees. So those measures are the measure of the intercepted arc. And we're looking for the measure of the angle formed outside of the circle. So this one, the value of x. So find the value of x or the angle formed by those intersecting lines or second lines. Okay po? So, ang ating formula for this uh, figure, so we have C, the measure of the, the angle, or X is equal to C or X, since the value of C is X, is equal to A, A is 125 degrees, minus 27 degrees. Okay? Divided by... 2. So again, the difference of 2 intercepted arcs, so minus natin yon, and then i-divide natin sa 2. So that is the measure of the angle, which is x. Okay? So x equals 125 minus 27, that is equal to 98 divided by 2, so that is equal to 49 degrees. Okay? So the value of x in item number 1 is 49 degrees. So again, 125 minus 27 divided by 2. Then let us have example number 2. So we have the measure of the intercepted arc which is 265. Okay, now, we only have one measure or we have only one given measure of the intercepted arc. So we're going to find the other measure of the intercepted arc. So that is the value of B. 
So this one, from this point up to this point, what is the measure of this arc? So again, based on our uh, uh, lesson, the measure of one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. Since the given measure is 265, we can find the measure of the remaining arc by subtracting the given arc from 360. So 360 minus 265, that is equal to 95. So this arc is equal to 95. And then now we can find the value of x, that is the angle formed outside of the circle, by subtracting those given arcs, that is 265 and 95. So x equals 265 minus 95 divided by 2. So 265 minus 95, that is equal to 170 divided by 2. So the value of x now is 85. So let us have another example. What if the given is an angle, the measure of an angle, and the measure of one of the intercepted arcs? We have to use the formula, again, based on the theorem, the angle formed outside of the circle is equal to half of the difference of the intercepted arcs. Since the value of A is 120, because the formula is C is equal to A minus B all over 2, A is 120 degrees. Okay? So 120 degrees minus B, that is another intercepted arc. Okay, that is x all over 2. And that is equal to the measure of the angle. The measure of the angle is 23 degrees. Okay, so 120 minus x over 2 is equal to 23 degrees. And then cross multiply. 23 times 2, that is equal to 46 Okay, and then 120 minus x times 1, that is 120 minus x. And then to eliminate 120 on the left side, so we are going to bring 120 on the right side. So now subtract both sides by 120. And then it will become 0. Now, negative x will remain on left side. And then 46 minus 120, that is equal to negative 74. And then of course, x is negative, so change all the sign. Or multiply both sides by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative x is positive x. So x must be positive. That's why we are going to, we are going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So, negative 74 times negative 1, that is equal to 74. Therefore, the value of x or the intercepted arc is 74. To check if your answer is correct, okay, let us check using the formula. 120 is the value of a. So, 120 minus the other intercepted arc is 74 divided by 2. So, 120 minus 74, of course, that is equal to 46. Okay, that is equal to 46 divided by 2, that is equal to 23. So, therefore, 74 is correct. For item number 4, also, we are looking for the measure of the intercepted arc. Since the given here is one of the intercepted arcs, which is 66 degrees, and then the measure of the angle, which is 42 degrees. Now, let us use again the formula. C is equal to A minus B. A is the intercepted arc, and also B is the intercepted arc, all over 2. So C, that is the measure of the angle, 42 degrees, equals A is X, and then minus b is 66 
divided by 2. Okay? So then, cross multiply. 2 times 42, that is equal to 84. Equals x minus 66. Okay? So now, we have to add both sides by 66. So, x will remain on the right side. So, x, since it is 0, 84 plus 66, that is equal to 150. Therefore, the value of x here is 150. Now, let us check if your answer is correct. 150, so x is 150, 150 minus 66, that is equal to 84. So 84 divided by 2, that is equal to 42. So your answer as 150, so 150 is correct.